today or the next chapter of the channel uh, in this episode uh, we will try to see what is memory type for uh, memory optimized systems right so let me start my pointer okay memory optimized instance is uh, one of the instance uh, amazon ec2 has provided so amazon ec2 uh, has provided uh, seven type of instances memory optimized is one of them right so memory optimized instance uh, uh, are designed being designed to, to deliver fast performance for workloads that process a large data sets in memory right so uh, series uh, it it comes in four series r u x and z so whenever uh, you see a uh, instance starting with r u x z so these are the memory optimized instance right and uh, here a u series that was not uh, a part of this memory optimized that that was separate uh, instance uh, type altogether that was high memory instance now uh, what amazon has done they have included this uh, high memory instance under memory optimized right so again i repeat the series r u x and z right so let me go back to my next slide so r r5 uh, r series uh, r5 r5a r5b r5n right so um we very good for this high performance uh, relational mysql no sql mongo db cassandra database right uh, application performs real time processing uh, sat hena and uh, they come with uh, 2296 virtual cpus and ram is 16 gb to 768 gb right so as in when uh, we go for uh, this uh, series uh, r5 r6 you will see a difference between virtual cpus and ram again r6a right so here ram is uh, more compared to uh, r5 right so virtual cpus 2192 uh, 16 gb to 1536 gb right so basically as a Samsung architect, uh, if at all you are going to suggest uh, this memory optimized instance based on application requirement, uh, you need to uh, see the cost also because uh, the as in uh, when we you know go higher on those series, right? So R5, R6, so uh, the RAM size, um, we get a, a more RAM size, we get a more virtual CPUs and at the same time, uh, since we get uh, more physical hardware, right? More uh, uh, we will be charged more for that so uh, as a solution architect uh, whenever uh, you are going to suggest this uh, instance uh, please you know see to it that cost uh, is also being taken care right so um, the second one second one r6g r6t gd uh, they comes with a different processor aws graviton 2 processor right uh, and it is 64 bit arm uh, the the r5 and r5 uh, uh, 6a comes with a x86 so this is 64 bit arm architecture virtual cpu is 1 to 64 and ram is 512 gb right so again uh, we have a r6 i and r6 id instances uh, these are uh, good for real time big data analytics such as hadoop and spark clusters comes with uh, 22182 virtual cpus and ram 4 gb to 1536 gb storage is ebs only right now the second one that is high memory instance uh, u minus star so these are the basically bare metal instances uh, again a bare metal is basically a instance wherein uh, no uh, virtual machines will be created these are the dedicated uh, host instances provided to a user and uh, since we uh, the os is gets installed on the physical hardware on top of physical hardware we get a direct access to physical resources right so but um, for, for all these bare metal instances, uh, Amazon doesn't provide this for a monthly, two monthly uh, subscription basis. Uh, you need to go for a, a, a at least three year plan. If you if you are if you are willing to purchase those uh, uh, memory optimized, uh, rather high memory instances, right? So this is the U. Uh, the other one is X1. X1 uh, instances uh, good for high performance computing applications. Virtual CPU 64 to 128. <sighs> And RAM, if I see, that is 976 GB to 1952 GB. That is X1 instance. Another one is X1 E. The same uh, uh, suited for all high performance database, SAP, and applications, memory intensive enterprise applications. But the difference comes here for a virtual CPUs. Uh, if I compare with the X1, so um, 4 to 128 and RAM is 122 GB to 3904 GB. X2 GD. Same thing, 1264, 16 GB to 1024 GB. Uh, good for uh, in-memory database such as Redis and Memcast, right? And memory intensive workloads such as real-time analysis and real-time caching servers. So this X2GD instances, uh, they have uh, given this option. 
uh, under a memory optimize. Uh, the other one is X2ID. I think the last one of X series. Uh, intensive uh, good for uh, all intensive workloads, real time analysis. But the difference here for, for virtual CPU that is 4 to 128 and RAM is 128 GB to 4096 GB. And the last one of uh, memory optimize is Z1D instance. Uh, electronic design automation relational database workload uh, comes with uh, metal bare metal instance option also z1d.metal with a direct access to physical resources right and it uses uh, aws neto system and core frequency up to 4.0 gigahertz so virtual cpus 2248 ram 64 gb to 384 gb and storage is nvm ssd right so this is what i wanted to cover about memory uh, uh, instance memory optimized instance uh, do subscribe to my channel if you like the video content and uh, do watch out this space for more videos till then bye take care